All right, now that we have the base in place, let's start refactoring this. And we get to the, I think the most exciting part about this whole app shell structure. Uh, let's look at how to navigate from one to another. And what we're gonna do here is use option sets to navigate. So I'm gonna use here uh, underscore nav. I like to use all my option sets with the underscore because um, sometimes like, as soon as your app grows and you're picking out um, the type of uh, data that you want, option sets get mixed in with just normal data types. And for some reason I like to know that they're different. All right. Now, first thing here, they use the field, the, the key display. We're going to use this for our actual navigation URL. So the name is not perfect. We can't change it. But because this is the built-in attribute, it has some extra things that we can use for this. Uh, so, you know, even though the name is not perfect, but we're going to stick with it. And then we're going to have to show something here. Um, uh, let's call it actual name. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's put this here, actual name. And this is just a text field. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to start naming and think here of the, our components. So let's imagine that I'm doing an Airbnb for um, space ships. So on one of them is I want to see the ships. Uh, the other one I want to see the users. And actually, I need to put this into small. And then what do I want? I want ships, users, and a dashboard. Okay. And on all of these, I can you know add the, the actual name that we're going to display. Call the ships in capital, uh, users, and then dashboard. All right. With this, first thing we can do is, uh, since we are going to be controlling this uh, navigation menu here from that uh, those option sets, we can just use instead of each little thing being a re you know a text, we're going to use this as a repeating group, and we're just going to go full list, one row, and this is visible in the beginning. Let's. I want to expand this left and right here, so we're just gonna have a put. Oh, that's not what I wanted. We're in the wrong group here. Let me let me cut this out. I'll hide this. Make sure we're focusing on that. We'll paste it in here. We have our navigation group. Let's move it down. 120 All right and now we can move some text inside of it uh, this is 240 so I'll call it no, 200 just to occupy as much as I have of it put this in the middle center it center vertically what kind of text is this uh, barrel let's just go with open sense since we have lots of options here give it a 500 uh, 1 by 4, let's put 1 by 5 just to get some square numbers. So we know that 16 times 1.5 is 24. So I'll just call it here, I'll call this one uh, text 16. And I'll just give myself a little hint of uh, this text height should be 24. All right. So I'll put it in there. And then we're going to have to fill it up with content. This content here is going to be nav. See, like the, the thing I was mentioning before is like, Whenever you pull this up, you have all the data types that show up. And right now, I only have users, the data type, but if you have lots of them, they're all going to show up here at the same time, uh, you know, kind of together. And I don't know, I like to have the, because the option set has a, you know, works a bit different than just any data, data type. I like to pre, uh, prepend with a underscore. So we have nav, and uh, what is our data source? Just all nav. All right. We have it in there. We can. Close this off, and this is going to be the nav's actual name. All right, so go back to our preview, and now we have all of our items here. 
Okay, so this is the, the first nice thing. And we see, ah, ships user dashboard. No, actually should be, uh, the order should be different. It should be dashboard first, the ships, then that. All right, just change that. It rearranges as we, um, as we want there. Perfect. Now, let's, how do we use this for navigation? So we're going to have to add a conditional here. So I'm going to, well, let me just use here this text. Whenever text is included, go to page index. Yes, that's what I want. But this time, what I want to show is to send the display. All right. Perfect. Now, what we're going to do is use the groups here. I'll call it different names. So this is going to be the ships. Group B, let's call it ships. And then this group ships is going to be, and here's the, the nice little thing of the, the nav type. So instead of being a text and the whole uh, search for this, search for that, we can use here the type nav. And uh, so the key is still the same, the V. And then we can say, ah, type nav is, and we have here the options that we created there. So we don't even have to think about it. It's all uh, uh, done for us automatically. There is no typos, no nothing, because it's all controlled by the same place, right? So we have here ships. We're going to go for this one here. We call it, what, users. And going to do the same thing. So this is going to be type nav. And this is going to be the users. It's going to be visible. And we have here group users. All right, so we can navigate here. So if you click ships, click, click users, you can see here that it changes to match that one. It's all controlled by the group uh, nav. I see that at some point to say, no, no, not ships. I want um, uh, to do something else. I want to call it, um, you know, space ships, right? And um, we can just go here. As soon as we update that, everything is going to follow suit. This link is not going to work anymore. So this is one of the downsides. But as soon as you click it, it's going to work and everything is going to be uh, determined by that, right? Perfect. So this is, uh, for me, is one of the kind of a, a big aha moment for me when uh, creating this app shell was to create this, um, uh, this type of setup.